Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today for our expert session, introducing Buforia Vantage, the new and improved way to access your work instructions. My name is Cam Habib and with me today is Duffy Fallon. We're super excited to chat with you today, not only about Buforia Vantage, but really telling our full expert capture story. It's been a long time since we've had one of these sessions, so we really want to highlight um, all the different components of expert capture, how they come together and provide value for people like you, our customers, and how we differ and think about things differently in regards to work instructions from some of our peers in the market. As I mentioned, it's been a long time since we've had one of these sessions. We're looking forward to hosting these more frequently to engage with you, our customers. We've had a lot of releases over the last several months that we're excited to talk about. Um, so we look forward to, to a really good session with all of you today. So jumping into our agenda real quick, we'll have some introductions of myself and Duffy. We'll then pass it over to Duffy. He'll then jump into uh, an Expert Capture product deep dive. We'll, he'll go through those components of Expert Capture that we talked about. He'll also dive into a lot of those new releases, um, including version control capabilities that are really helpful for authors to collaborate on procedures and make sure that the most up-to-date procedure is available to frontline workers, helping to ensure compliance. Um, of course, he's going to jump in to Vuforia Vantage, talk about some of the UX and UI improvements that we've made in the app um, to help with personalization, navigation, discoverability of procedures. Really, how we designed it to, was to make our frontline workers be more productive on the job. Um, so that's what you'll see with Vuforia Vantage. He'll also get into Vantage Web, um, which provides uh, some of those same capabilities in the web playback experience. And then uh, lastly, one of the last uh, new features that we're gonna be chatting about and that Duffy will get into is Vuforia Insights, um, which really just provides valuable insights and information about how procedures are being used across your organization. Uh, and that really gives you information so you can take action when and where it's needed. So super exciting stuff. It's gonna be a great product demo. Um, we do have a QA and a at the end of the session. There's a text box that you can write in your questions that we'll get to at the end of the session. Uh, feel free to write in as many questions as you have. If we're unable to get to those questions, uh, we'll make sure to follow up with you after the session. Um, so don't hold back on, on any questions that you have throughout the presentation. Uh, one other housekeeping item is that we'll have a couple uh, survey questions throughout the presentation. So those will just pop up during the presentation. Um, and we'd love for you to engage with those. Uh, those, gives a, those give us great information on the, the type of audience that we have during these sessions, the type of content that you'd like to see in the future. Uh, so please engage with those. It gives us great information on how we should run these sessions moving forward and really what our customers are looking to get and see uh, out of these sessions. Okay, so as I mentioned, my name is Cam Habib. I'm a senior product marketing manager here at PTC. I work specifically on Before Expert Capture. I've been at PTC for about six months and I've worked with various high-tech organizations uh, in the Boston area for, for several years now. Um, I love working in product marketing. I love working with customers and understanding their needs, understanding what helps them be more productive on the job, help them meet their business objectives. Um, so I'd love to chat with any of you at any point. I'll leave my contact information at the end of the presentation. Feel free to drop me a line. I'd love to have a conversation with you at some point after the session, um, if anyone's willing to or, or would like to. And then just a quick fun fact about me, I skied 18 times this past year. I got into skiing a few years ago and I've kind of fell in love with it, with it ever since. So uh, this past year was the most times I've skied uh, in a year is, is a really fun time for me. Um, so just wanted to share that with you all. Um, and I'll pass it over to Duffy now. 
Great. Thanks so much, Cam, for getting us kicked off. And hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you're joining us from. My name is Duffy Fallon. I am the Senior Product Manager for V4 Expert Capture here at PTC. Uh, really excited to be here with all of you today, and thank you so much for joining. Uh, we have a lot of exciting updates to share. I'll make my introduction quick so we can get into it. I've been at PTC for about four years now. I actually started out in the corporate strategy group and moved, then moved over to Vuforia Chalk. And since we started building Vuforia Expert Capture, um, have been working on the product. So really looking forward to being able to share these updates with you all today. Do just want to take the opportunity to say thank you, not only for being here, but we as Vuforia, we are focused on not only the industrial enterprise, but really on the frontline worker. And obviously this has been a, a very challenging year and a year in which our customers and the uh, employees and workers of our customers have really kept us afloat. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we really appreciate it. And let's get into the demo. All right, so I've logged into the Before Editor here, and I'm currently on the My Editor page and have filtered by procedures. And so what I'm seeing here are all the procedures that either I have created that have been shared with me or that have been made public and available to all authoring users in the organization. For today's demonstration, I'm actually not going to be creating a net new procedure, but I'm going to be updating one of my existing procedures. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Volvo Engine Main Oil Filter Change. And I will also open the capture that we used to create this procedure originally. Go ahead and close my left hand nav. I'll make this a little bit bigger. And so what we're seeing here is really the core authoring interface of before expert capture, where I have my capture on the left hand side and my procedure on the right hand side. As you can tell, I've already started authoring this procedure. Um, but before I get too far ahead of myself, let me take a step back here and actually show you how this capture was created. Today we are just handling the two main oil filters. Now we are only taking on this step after you've previously drained the engine of oil. The Capture app is really the authoring foundation for Before Expert Capture. In this first case, the subject matter expert is capturing the oil change procedure that we were just looking at on a real air device. Recording video and audio from a first person perspective, the learning benefit of which will be realized by countless of others really cannot be rivaled by anything other than actually being there in person. The design philosophy behind Capture is rooted in ensuring focus on the task at hand and not on the technology. With an intuitive, hands-free say what you see UI, along with dwell and tap interactions for the whole lens, we are able to capture invaluable tasks and knowledge from those who know how to do the job better than anybody else. This simply cannot be accomplished using standard documentation practices to, that we see in the market today. And by leveraging spatial awareness capabilities of the HoloLens, not only can we capture the what and the how, but also the where. So we are back in the editor. Again, I have my capture on the left-hand panel and my procedure on the right. I know that there are some updates that I want to make to the procedure, but before I actually go ahead and do that, I'm going to check out my versions and history. So I'm going to close out of my asset library here just to make everything a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go over to the versions and history tab right here, which will open up a flyout. What the version of the history table represents is an immutable record of all of the changes that have been made to a procedure over time. So when we create a procedure for the new time for the first time, um, that procedure is automatically assigned a start version um, that marks the time, date, and who is created by, and a main workspace. Main you could think about is essentially just where you work. So what we do is actually track every single change that's been made to a procedure on the individual change level, which is pretty cool you can really kind of think about it as, as almost a time machine, right? And I, I can go back to any single point in time in the procedure and actually look at that snapshot of where I was at that point in the authoring process. Now, these change logs, you know, generally as you, as you author a procedure um, can get pretty long. What you can then do is create a version. And really what a version is uh, created to do is to mark or a key progress collaboration milestone in the authoring or revision process. So I go up here. I create a version and a description could be added to really provide context to the record of change, the state of the procedure or even requirements. So versions are automatically recorded as a minor um, version number. All entries in the version history table, of course, can be reverted back to um, reviewed, restored and previewed at any point in time. So I'm not going to create a version quite yet. 
So now, after I've created the version, let's say that I, you know, I said, okay, steps one through four are authored and validated by the subject matter expert. When I'm ready to publish, that's when I create a major version. So we'll go up here. I'm not actually going to do it at this point in time. I'm going to have to go to my main workspace. Only the main workspace can actually be published. But what you'll see here is when I go to publish, then we'll, be, we'll create that major version as a release. And that release is represented with a triangle in the version of the history tree versus a circle, which is, which is just, just really your standard version. So I'm going to go ahead and do some authoring here, make some updates to the procedure. We'll see how those updates are reflected in the versions in history tree. I'll then publish a new release of the procedure and we'll move on to the main events of the session, uh, Vuforia Vantage and Vuforia Insights. Okay, before we advantage, the main event of the session today. So I'm going to be demoing on my iPad, but Vantage is available on both iOS and Android devices, uh, mobile and tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Vantage application up. You can see it on the left on the bottom left hand of my nav bar here. So I'll start out by saying, um, for those of you who have not been introduced yet to Vantage, that we this is a huge step forward for us from a UX perspective. Previously, our, our primary delivery vehicle um, for procedures was, was Vuforia View. And Vuforia View wasn't necessarily designed for expert capture. Um, it was designed for Studio. And so what we built here with Vuforia Vantage is really a purpose-built application for delivering work instructions. So we have a new information architecture. You can see here at the bottom, my procedures, library and account, and at the top, recents, favorites, and downloads. So I can just quickly scan those. So let's go ahead and actually check out the procedure we just published, the new Volvo engine main oil filter change, which should be version 2.0. And what we open up to is the main procedure page. So I'll, I'll actually start out with preview. Um, and so what we, we we give you a notification here that you're not going to be at, you're not going to be saving any data. So this will not be re reporting before your insights. But it will allow me to navigate the procedure. What you really stand out here is the new UX for presenting and consuming a procedure, which really puts media assets at the forefront. Also being able to very quickly navigate between those different those different images and videos on the bottom left here. And then also navigate between steps. So there are a couple ways that I can navigate navigate between steps. I can either kind of use a swipe gesture at the bottom, or for simplicity's sake, use the, the use the arrows here on, on either side to be able to navigate back and forth. This now I'm actually opening up into the, the larger text view. Um, we don't have a ton of text in this procedure, I don't believe. Well, here we go, we have a step here. So I'll actually take advantage of this. And so now, you know, for example, when we have more text, we can very easily open that up. We can see the entire text and we can also at the same time very easily swipe and look at all of our media. I can very quickly go here, navigate back and forth, video, image, 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 again, back and forth. And so we've been in procedure preview mode, just as a quick demo. So we're gonna go back to overview. And now we're actually gonna start the session. So now that we have kind of our, have already gone through the basic navigation, I won't go through it necessarily again here, but what I will do is go to Step five, I can go here. I can look at the step list at any time. Let's go to the last step. And now I'm actually going to go ahead and complete this session. 
and I can either exit the procedure or start a new session. So just for demonstration's sake, let's go through a couple other procedures. Um, I, I'm going to open up this bid like curtain procedure that we have here. This has more steps so you can see here. Um, again, being able to navigate, it's really like a table of content. Users talk about that they don't necessarily need to go through every step, literally step by step, and oftentimes they maybe just need a few steps in the procedure. So we can actually just go and start the session right here. Again, go in, and at any point in time, I can always go back to the step list. I can save and exit, um, which is re also really important if, for example, we have a step that may take five, ten minutes to complete. I can put my iPad down um, and come back to it. I'm going to open that back up. I can resume the procedure. And again, navigate through all of my media assets. We really have put a focus on um, media first. It's been a very, very consistent piece of feedback from all of our customers that uh, with expert capture, the media really is most important. And uh, you know, the old old saying goes, a, a, a picture tells um, a thousand words and, and a video tells probably a million words. So uh, let's go and actually complete this procedure as well. I'm gonna go and jump ahead to the end. And I'm going to complete this session. So again, Vantage is a huge, huge step forward. We really have taken, you know, I, I want to give kudos here to the to the design team as we've taken an approach that really we're looking at best practices from a lot of the consumer applications that are out there today, making this super, super easy to use, right? So the idea is that anybody can actually pick this up, go and use it, no training required. So with that, I'm going to transition now over to Vantage Web. Web Playback has been officially brought under the Vantage umbrella um, and again is now hooked up to, the, to V4 Insights as well. And so what you're seeing here is the same procedure. Uh, we have the same capabilities of being able to preview or start a session. And I'm going to go ahead and start this session. I'm actually logged in, I believe, as John Jones here. Um, so we'll hopefully see a couple different um, users between myself and John Jones and in, in, in V4 Insights. We have a great, again, redesigned uh, web playback UI. Um, same general design philosophy that is keeping the uh, media assets at the forefront of our procedure here. So we can go ahead and play this. Very easy navigation between media assets and very, very simple navigation between steps. So I'm going to go ahead and get through this relatively quickly here. And I will complete this session. I think we've completed a total now of three sessions in Vantage, uh, two on my iPad and one on web. So let's now go to Vuforia Insights. I'll click Insights and this will bring me to the Insights page. And all right, so we're up a little bit late tonight. <laughs> uh, and as you can see here, we have three procedures, like I said, logged. We have the Volvo Engine Procedure version 2.0, uh, the, the, the bid light curtain uh, card replacement. It looks like that actually has not been republished uh, since we launched, launched version control, so good note. And then also another view um, from Webb from John Jones on the Volvo Engine main oil filter change. So this represents really that full feedback loop, and this is just the beginning for us with Vuforia Vantage, Vuforia Insights. We're gonna be expanding on this a lot more in the future to come, and are really, really excited about the opportunity that we have in the market, designing and delivering an application that we not only know that people love to use, but also provides um, our customers with the full operational transparency into their enterprise, into their operations that really they haven't had before. So with that, I really appreciate the time. Thank you so much for joining the session. We are really looking forward to hopefully a very fun Q&A here. And I will uh, close the session and look forward to speaking with all of you very shortly. Thank you so much.